that I want to leave. So bad. Hope you're ready. Here we go. Happy hippos, bubbles. Hi, this is Tanner, Rissa, and Willa. We're a little American family living out our dream of life abroad and currently call Germany our home. In our past few videos, we pick up our American parents and take them on the German Autobahn for the first time. Things get crazy and both Tanner and my dad drive as fast as they ever have. I don't think you're gonna catch <laughs> Oh my gosh, he's, he's lying. Lying. That's almost as fast as I've ever gone. <laughs> After that, we explored Innsbruck, Austria. We share with you our first impressions and introduce our parents to Tyrolean food. Do you want to put it right here? You guys, the square. That is tender. One. This one is the best. <laughs> and for the Kaiser Spetzle here. In this video, we are back in one of our favorite places in the world. The Dolomites. This time, we experience a winter wonderland, take in mind-blowing views, and attempt tobogganing. Good morning, you guys. We find ourselves so in love with the Dolomites region here in Italy. It's just so breathtaking. I mean, right here, we're staying at an Airbnb located right next to this adorable church. You just heard a rooster. Wow, that was on time. Let me try that again. You just heard a rooster. Okay. <laughs> Not uh, <laughs> not too bad, just saying. Anyways, I woke up, quietly grabbed a mixture of Tanner stuff, Tanner's hat, my coat, our camera gear, and came to see this amazing view. It's gonna be a great day, and we're excited to take you with us. We are planning on going tobogganing. You can see kind of where that snow line is, so we're actually staying fairly close to Caesar Alm. We're gonna take a lift up there, and there should be tobogganing and skiing, and the winter season doesn't end yet. How do places like this exist and just feel so peaceful, so serene, I just love it and I love being able to witness it and I'm so grateful that I can. Snowman! Hi, everybody! Oh, no hands! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Hi! So bad! <laughs> Woohoo! Well, did you see the horses over there? Ooh! How are you guys doing back there? <laughs> Good! Oh, yeah. Ah. That didn't work out. <laughs> I don't know how you're supposed to steer yet, but... <laughs> Rissa putting in the hard work. Hey, Willa. Boom. Are you on the sled? You're gonna take a nap? Okay. Juicy. Well, it turns out that we did everything right today. We came on a beautiful snowy day. We got our sleds. We had everything ready, except for the fact that they closed last Wednesday all of the tobogganing runs. And the people who we rented from didn't tell us. So, we're going to make the most out of a very small, anticlimactic hill at the top of here since we've already rented them. Even though we probably could get our money back, but we're going to try and make the most of it. Hope you're ready. Here we go! So, the weird thing is, is you have to turn, oh yeah, the other way. Ah! It's the opposite way you turn. 
So it's the next morning and it's bitter out here. After we turned our sleds in from the mountain, we went and grabbed some lunch at a local pizzeria place. It was very nice to sit down, stay warm because it was starting to snow quite a bit. We didn't realize how much it was supposed to snow because by the time that we left again, there were several inches on the road in some places and we still had quite a drive, about an hour and a half to two hours to make it to our Airbnb. Luckily we made it here safely, but I don't recommend driving in the snow in the Alps if you don't have to. Our Airbnb had this little wood burning stove that we had to keep stocking. You can tell this is an older house, really beautiful, amazing views. I woke up around 4.30 because I needed to put more wood on the fire. I decided to stay up because I could see some stars out and I was like, no way. There are still clouds here, but they're very thin and very high and this is a little bit of the view. This is by far the most picturesque winter scene that I've been to. Waking up to this is just jaw dropping and like I think we'll have a few hours with some great views before the clouds settle in this afternoon. So I'm very excited like our in-laws are gonna love seeing this place. <laughs> this place like even now that the sun's come out like the clouds are burning off it's just like absolutely fairy tale winter wonderland mm -hmm. like this quiet village up in the Alps and we love it obviously it's a little bit scarier just because like I about fell on my face three times <laughs> just coming down to it's this place icy. so it's icy so we're hoping that it warms up a little bit and that the roads have some salt or sand on it still like it's just incredible incredible place Mm, I don't want to leave. Don't know where we're going, <laughs> but I'll go anywhere with you. Wherever this wind's blowing, we ain't got much to lose. Cause we got that. Willa, what do you got? What do you have? Happy hippos, bubbles. Are you ready to go? Yes. Vamos. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we're in for it in about 10 years from now. I mean, we're in for it already, but you know. Beautiful, beautiful morning, wouldn't you think, babe? So beautiful. We're about to head into the car now and make yes. our way. What do you guys think? Awesome. Awesome. Better than the clouds and snow? Yes. Very yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were just saying how like gloomy and rainy and cloudy it was supposed to be during their trip after like three weeks of 60 degree weather. But today the sun is breaking through so we're really hoping to see some other beautiful peaks and beautiful scenery through the mountains here. Tanner, what do you think? Dolomites in the winter or in the summer? Oh, I don't know. Up until yesterday, it totally would have been in the summer, but today it is absolutely breathtaking. We love that there's not as many people yeah. here. And if we were able to go out into the slopes, I think that it would be a hard, a hard comparison, honestly. The trees just, they, 
they're like way down by the snow. It looks beautiful. Yeah. All of the mountain peaks have so much snow on them. It's just crazy to be so close. Like that's what my dad said is like, in Canada, you can drive to the mountain. How did he word it? It's just like, you can see these beautiful peaks and like lakes and passes, but you have to like hike walk up there or hike up to them. So it's like here, you literally are driving through some of the most beautiful places in the world that we've ever seen. And it's just like, it's fantastic. You're so close. It just feels unreal, really yeah. unbelievable. Hot hitchhiker, let's get her. <laughs>